Asui Kwasin. Lorenz Spears here, your artist educator from Tomaquag Museum. Today we are going to make corn husk dolls. A couple of examples here and check out our gallery for fancy ones made by a variety of traditional artists as well as ones made many, many, many years ago by native peoples from this region. Eastern woodland artists. Any native group that grew crops that included corn would make corn husk dolls. Corn husk dolls are a gift for their children, just like any child today who likes to play and have a toy. So mothers would be in the cornfield tending the crops and they would make corn husk dolls for their children to occupy them while they were in the fields. So here's some dried corn husk to show you what it looks like. And you wet it in a bucket such as this and it does have to be wet in order to make corn husk, but you have to have it dried first. So if you're um, making corn husks at home from your husks from your garden, just give them a, a day to dry. Um, the reason for that is it'll, it makes it so that they don't mold. If you do them from green husks, know that they won't last. That's all. You can do them from green husks, but they just won't last. But if you make them from dried corn husk, and you re-wet them, when it re-dries, it dries permanently without any molding. So, you need corn husk, you need some scissors, and if you'd like, you could have a little bit of yarn for hair. I make many of my corn husk dolls without any hair at all, um, but I also sometimes use the um, silk from the fresh corn husks um, from your garden. And you see on this is a little bit of silk from this um, husk here. It's kind of not good enough for hair, but it gives you the idea if you don't know what I'm talking about, the silk. The silk is the stuff that after you peel the husk away, you have that really fine uh, hair-like material. And traditionally, we use that silk as the hair. But in the modern world, we substitute with um, yarn or string or hemp. It can be any of those things. 